what is up internet it's your boy ronan back at you again with another video yeah it's been quite a while i know but i have good reason for that i've been trying a lot of new things um working on some stuff and youtube just had to take a back seat to that for one thing my comic art i'm um, working on new techniques new styles i'm going with sort of a more let's say animated style like an animation sale more cartoony well you know more carts not really more cartoony in their proportions but more like looking like animation with like painted backgrounds and i don't usually paint i i'm usually very linear so i'm learning to use a tablet and things like that and so i i i really got to get that style down pat i got to really figure out what i'm doing with it so i've been doing that so i'll, I'll probably make some vlogs about that when i get somewhere with that style that uh i'm comfortable with but that's not what this uh vlog is about this vlog is about what i've been doing for the last couple of months and that is learning game development i've been you know fooling around with some demos i don't know if you call them demos more like uh prototypes of some games i'm trying to you know wrap my head around what i wanted to do um, and I've been fooling around with uh, different game engines. I'm messing around with um, Game Maker, and also I'm messing around with uh, Construct 3. Oh, also I would like to say, in case it wasn't obvious, I have zero game making experience. So this is literally, I'm a noob trying to learn, you know, how to make an indie game. Game Maker and Construct are both more, mainly for 2D. Um, games construct is it doesn't really require a lot of coding it's more logic it's really just kind of having to understand the game and logic it does a lot of the coding for you so i don't know which one i'm going to use ultimately uh i'm still fooling around with both of them constructs easier but game maker is a little bit more elegant in certain ways and also i think game maker may have more documentation and things like that because yeah i watch a lot of tutorials and, and read a lot of message boards and forums and things like that and if everything i've looked up for game make i've been able to find when i was trying to do a thing i might not have understood it or been able to do it but i found it i haven't necessarily been able to find everything for construct but pretty much everything so what they tell you you know when you're trying to make your first game you should make something small uh, just a little game which yeah I should do that but I'm not I mean well actually let me rephrase that what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make a game that looks complicated but it's not so I had a bunch of like I said I was playing around with some prototypes of ideas of type of games I want to make I was trying to make a, a roguelike like a classic roguelike but I still I'm still fooling around with it but when I started thinking about all the different things, the statistics and things of that nature that I would have to figure out and have to do a bunch of data arrays and stuff like that. I was like, mm, I don't know. That seems kind of complicated for my skill set. I was going to make a just like a sort of like just a sort of top down shooter. But that seemed I don't know. That just didn't didn't really grab me. I, I prefer if I'm not going to make. I prefer to make a more of a tactical game, but again, a tactical game with a lot of statistics and, and um, very minor changes to weapons, you know, tweaks to weapons and things. I figured that might be a little bit complicated. So what I settled on was making just like a side scroller beat em up. There is going to be some complexity in it because there's, there's what you know. There are known unknowns and then there's unknown unknowns. So there are certain things I just don't know yet. And I don't know how complex they're going to be, but this appears to be the simplest game I can make because with the side scroller beat em up, what happens a lot of times or just a side scroller action game, like let's say a Mega Man or Castlevania. What happens is the enemies are kind of doing what they're going to do. They don't really have AI. You know what I mean? Even the boss battles, they don't really have AI. They're going to do what they're going to do and you're going to either kill them or you're not, but they're not really responding to your, to what you're doing. So I figured that would be a pretty easy game to design and develop as opposed to, let's say a roguelike or strategic game where the enemies are constantly reacting to what you're doing and then trying to, 
you know, beat you at that. So that's how I settled on this concept. Yeah, so, you know, I'm going to make a side scroller and beat him up. And I figure uh, it would be easier for me to learn Pixar art than it would be for me to learn really complex programming yet. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to make a game that looks very impressive visually and seems to be complex, but really isn't. And that's the goal. So I was looking through some old sketches of mine. Well, actually... Honestly, I had an idea. I was like, oh, this character would be cool for a side scroller beat em up. I posted this on my Instagram a while, a long time ago. This um, version of like a cyberpunk Yasuke. You know, Yasuke is the black samurai um, from feudal Japan. And I made like a little cyberpunk version of him. And I was like, I said cyberpunk, cyberpunk version of him. And I was like, that would be pretty cool, you know, to make a cyberpunk Yasuke side scroller beat em up. And uh, I went to the folder that I had on my computer with the drawing and stuff on it, in it. And I had a, quite a few actual drawings that I did of some of the characters, like just some concept drawings of characters that I had done. Uh, and they look kind of cool. I was like, oh, dang, you, you, these are kind of cool looking. So I was like, oh, man, this would, this would be really dope. So I was like, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make Yasuke uh side scroll and beat him up cyberpunk game and um so you know i've been working on <laughs> a lot of the uh pixel art which is way more difficult than i thought i've always really had a soft spot in my heart for pixel art i think it's a really cool illustration style i don't like it like it's not like a retro nostalgic thing i'm not nostalgic at all anyone who knows me will tell you i have zero nostalgia it's, I consider it a, a legitimate illustration style. One of the things I really like about it is you're having to compromise because you can only do certain things. Like for instance, if you're trying to draw a character that's supposed to have glasses on, well, a certain size, when it's really small, you're not gonna be able to tell they have glasses. So you can't, you're, you're not gonna be able to illustrate glasses the same way you would do it if you were doing a straight up drawing you have to compromise you have to figure out how to arrange those pixels in such a way that the person appears to be wearing glasses but they're not and i just think that that's really cool it's almost like a puzzle so the first thing i did was i took a crack at doing the main character and i decided that because it's just like if you're going to be playing as this character he's got to look cool so i felt like you know a lot of times they say just make dummy art and just throw it start working on the game but i wanted to make sure he looked cool because it was kind of like if he doesn't look cool if you want to play as him then why you don't want to play the game so um i tried a couple of uh styles with him and it just it wasn't working first i tried just straight up chibi art which is when you have like a big head and little body and then i didn't like it then i did it again it was less chibi this time didn't like that I did it again. How many times did I do it? Three, four times. And each time he got more and more normal proportions, like a normal human being, until finally he's normal proportions. And this one came out the best. I, I really like this one the best. I also, uh, you know, did a little bit of animation. I animated him just, you know, his just idle pose. But yeah, he came out pretty cool. I, I need to fix a couple of things. Like I'm doing a bunch of dithering on him which really you're not supposed to dither i think on a character you can dither the background dithering is kind of like where you see those blocks are almost making kind of like a checkerboard type pattern kind of denoting shading uh, i don't think you're really supposed to do that on, on actual figures you're only supposed to do that on background like things that aren't moving so yeah i'll probably have to get rid of those but i'm, I'm pretty happy with them overall but man let me tell you i decided i was going to make also a target render of just what the game might look like so i just made one screenshot of what i what i would like the game to maybe look like and i gotta tell you doing the backgrounds was a lot harder than i expected there's a specific art to making pixel art backgrounds and to doing what would you call tile maps so i don't i didn't make a, you know it's obviously not a tile map everything in here nothing repeats or anything like that 
so this was kind of it was pretty difficult i got i'm not gonna lie i really kind of first i tried to do the background just straight up in a sprite immediately with no underdrawing I, there's a lot of pixars i watch who, who can do that they'll just get on and start making something um but then i decided to kind of draw a rough background and then i ended up not even doing the background the same way i kept a couple of the same buildings though um but yeah it was very difficult uh, i think from now on i'm probably going to sketch out the love the background or the levels old-fashioned by hand maybe even on a graph paper and then scan it in and then make pixels out of it because that's just i'm just old-fashioned in the way i do things but it turned out pretty good it's not 100 percent what i was looking for but like i said i'm still learning pixel art so i had to put in the photoshop a little bit to make the glow effects a little better because a sprite can't really make glow effects that great but yeah it turned out pretty good so yeah that's uh what i've been up to my next vlog probably is going to be actual more game making than me introducing you to the game and i'm going to be concentrating more on art and sort of the design concepts as opposed to programming and uh game logic and stuff like that because that stuff is kind of messy i'm i'm messy at it because i'm i'm not that good at it yet so i don't want to present stuff to you that you know that i'm stumbling through you know what i mean so it's going to be more me talking about design and and the art and what i'm trying to achieve or what i couldn't achieve this that or the third so yeah that's what i've been working on i kind of i didn't even want this video to be this long honestly i don't know when the next video is going to be because like i said i want to make these vlogs but i also want to get work done and some of these are kind of time consuming to make so probably my next video is going to be maybe eight minutes max we'll see what happens um but if you enjoyed it you liked it please like subscribe comment follow all that good stuff and um i'll see you on the next one my next video game vlog.